Hello everyone, Pixeled Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest in aid of the Meyer Key. This quest is considered intermediate difficulty and is long length, about 45 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include 25 crafting, 15 mining, and 7 magic. Completion of In Search of the Meyer Key and Nature Spirit quests, and the ability to defeat a level 35 Gatorinx, one level 54 Vampire Juvenate, and two level 75 Vampire Juvenates, or four level 50 Vampire Juvenates, depending on the route taken. The required items for this quest include Silver Sickle Blessed, one piece of food, do not eat this food as it will be given to an NPC, Spade, Hammer, Pickaxe, four buckets, 11 regular planks, 44 nails, swamp paste, 10 raw mackerel or 10 raw snails depending on what's asked, 10 to 12 bronze axes depending on what's asked, 4 tinder boxes, 2 steel bars, silver bar, mithril bar, coal, soft clay, rope, cut sapphire, cosmic rune, water rune. These next items are optional if you have low combat, but it is highly recommended to have a steel medium helm steel chain body, steel plate lakes, silver sickle, and 15 cooked salmon, snails, slimy eels, or stew. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have a draven staff, lunar staff, or ectophile, amulet of glory, several morton or baros teleports. If you don't have these, then bring a druidic pouch with charges to protect your food. Weight reducing gear such as graceful, wolf bane or silver light, 1000 coins, melee gear, and the standard spellbook. There are some maps in the description below that help you to identify some of the key points of this quest. Open it up to keep it handy. Obviously, there are too many items that are required to fit in your inventory, so before you start the quest, make sure that you have the Draymond Staff, Lunar Staff, or Ectophile, Pickaxe, Spade, Hammer, Buckets, Silver Sickle Blast, Six Planks, Nails, One Food, Morton or Baros Teleports, Druidic pouch with charges if needed, coins, and at least seven empty inventory spaces. To start the quest, travel behind the Hair of a Dog Inn, which is located in Canifis. The easiest way to get there is by using the fairy ring code CKS and walking east, or use an ectophile and walk west. Once there, use a trap door behind the inn to go down into the tunnel. You'll be in a small room. Search the southern wall that is right next to a vent to exit. Follow the path a little bit south until an eastern path opens up. Right click on the stalagmite and choose the squeeze past option. You'll now be in a large room. Once there, talk to Vilioff. When prompted, say, I want to join your organization. Okay, tell me this information you have to impart. Can you tell me about the job? And okay, I'll do the job. Be sure to check your quest journal to see if you have started this quest. Next, you'll need to travel to Morton, so use a Morton teleport or Baros if you have it. If you don't have it, you can use the Swamp Bodhi that was used in the quest in search of the Meyer Key to get there. Once you are in Morton, you'll want to use the southern path out of town to Bird Day Rot. Once there, try to open the front gate to get in. However, you will not be able to do so. Talk to Florin, who is just on the other side of the gate. He will also not let you in. To enter, you must place your piece of food into the open chest nearby. Enter the gate and talk to Florin again. When prompted, say, are there any out-of-the-way places in here? Once he finishes talking, you must go inside of the pub nearby. Climb over the broken down wall to enter the northwest room of the pub. When there, right click on your pickaxe and select the use option, and then use on the rubble on the ground to mine it. Open the trapdoor that is revealed and use the ladder to go down. 
In this room, there will be 15 piles of rubble that you must clean up to use this basement as a base of operations. Left click on the rubble to mine it. When you stop mining, a dirt spot will be left on the ground. Use your spade on the dirt pile to clear it. You will notice that your buckets will fill up with rubble. When they are completely filled, you may exit the basement and use your bucket of rubble on the rubble pile just behind the pub. As you remove the rubble, you may collect various items such as nails and glass. You can discard all these items, however keep the fragment of plaster and dusty scroll. Read these two items. Continue clearing out the room until all the piles are gone. Once all the rubble is clear, a cutscene will occur. Exit the basement and talk to Razvan, who is located just north of the pub. When prompted, say, I'd like to help fix up the town. And, okay, thanks. Walk to the general store, which is just to the east, and talk with Orel. When prompted, say, I'd like to help fix up the town. And, okay, thanks. Walk just outside of the general store and go up the ladder. Use your plank on the broken roof to fix it. This is a little hard to click on. Go back down the ladder and use a plank on the damaged wall east of the front door. Once both things are fixed, talk with Oral again. When prompted, say, what should I do now? He'll ask that you stock his store. Pay close attention to what he wants as he'll ask for 10 to 12 bronze axes, three tinder boxes, and either 10 raw mackerel or 10 raw snails. He'll give you a crate to store it all in. So you must go to a bank to collect these items. You can use a swamp boaty back in Warton to go to Canifis, or an amulet of glory to Edgeville. Be sure to collect three tinder boxes, 10 to 12 bronze axes, and 10 raw mackerel or snails dependent on what was asked, and use these items on the crate to store them. Also bring your hammer, five planks, 20 nails, and swamp paste. Return to Orel. He will ask that you help to repair the bank. Talk to Razvan again. When prompted, say, what should I do now? Go to the bank that is on the south end of town and talk to Cornelius. When prompted, say, what should I do now? Use your plank on the bank booth with the broken glass to repair it. Then go outside of the bank to the western wall and use a plank on the damaged wall to fix it. Once fixed, talk to Cornelius again. When prompted, say, what should I do now? And, do you fancy the job? You may now use this bank. Collect from your bank two steel bars, tinder box, hammer, one coal, silver sickle blast, mealy gear, and food for the battle. When finished with the bank, talk to Razvan again. When prompted, say, what should I do now? He asks for you to fix the furnace. Walk to the southeast of the town to the furnace. Use your steel bar on the broken furnace to repair it. Then use your coal on the furnace for fuel, followed by a tinder box to light it. A cutscene will occur. For this next part of the quest, you'll be fighting a level 35 Ganarynx and one level 54 Vampire Juvenate. Be sure to equip your Silver Sickle Blast to fight them. When you are ready, go to the general store and talk with Ganarynx, whisk it, and then a Vampire Juvenate to start the fight. Take out Ganarynx first, and then the Vampire. Vilioff will come to help you. When the vampires are defeated, talk to Gatoranx. You will automatically receive his Warhammer. If your inventory is full, talk to Oral to receive it. Talk to Vilioff nearby, who will say he'll go back to the Hollows. 
Now go back to the bank to get the final items. Replace your Silver Sickle Bless with a Wolfbane or Silverlight, but keep your melee gear on. Also bring a Hammer, Soft Clay, Mithril Bar, Silver Bar, one Water Rune, one Cosmic Rune, Cut Sapphire, and a Rope. If you would like to make this next fight a little easier, especially if you're a lower level, then bring the Steel Medium Helm, Steel Chain Body, Steel Plate Legs, Silver Sickle, and 15 Cooked Salmon, Snails, Slimy Eels, or Stew. You'll have to return to Vilioff where you started this quest. You can use an Amulet of Glory to Edgeville and then a Fairy Ring to Canifus and down the trapdoor behind the inn, or go back to Morton, use the Swamp Bodhi upriver, go north across the bridge and into the wooden doors to get back to the Mire Key hideout. Once there, talk to Vilioff. He'll want you to transport Ivan to the Patrodamus Temple. Talk to Radagad and Polmafi, who are also in the room. If you brought the extra items, use them on Ivan, and he will equip them underneath his robes. If not, then talk to Ivan. You'll be presented with two paths, Route 1 and Route 2. If you choose Route 1, you'll have to fight two level 75 vampire juvenates, which is quite difficult. If you choose Route 2, you'll have to fight four level 50 vampire juvenates, which is a little bit easier. Your job is to keep Ivan alive. If at any time you fail protecting him, he'll state that he's getting hurt badly and will go back to the hideout. You may exit the fight with the exit path that looks like small blue rocks, and you'll have to talk to Ivan in the Meyer Key hideout again to start over. Bring more food for him if you have failed. Once you have successfully protected Ivan, you'll be just outside of the temple. Use the ladder to go down and talk to Drezel. When prompted say, Vilyaf told me about Ivandis. Is there somewhere that I might get information about Ivandis? And the lives of those pitiful few left in Mauritania could rest on this. He will give you a key. Use the key on the keyhole, which is on the east side of this room. A trap door will appear. Go down it. Search through all the bookcases until you find an ancient book titled on the inside, The Sleeping Seven. Read the book and it will tell you where to find Ivan Dis's grave. Go back and enter the trap door behind the pub in Canifis. Search the wall to get through. You should see wooden planks covering a hole on the eastern side of the cave. Use your hammer on the planks to break them and enter the cave. Follow the path until you come across a tomb. Use your soft clay on the tomb to receive a mold. Now you'll need to go to a furnace. The closest one is in Port Phasmatis with an ectophile or use an amulet of glory to Edgeville. When at the furnace, use your silver bar on it and make a silver thrill rod. Go to your spellbook and use the level 1 enchant on the rod. Go back to the Patrodamus Temple basement and enter the main room. Use the rod on the well to create the Rod of Ivandus 10. Once complete, return to the basement underneath the bar in Bird Derat, the same one you cleared out early in the quest, and talk to Vilioff. When prompted, say, I have brought you the Rod of Ivandis to complete the quest. Congratulations, you have received two quest points, 2,000 attack experience, 2,000 strength experience, 2,000 defense experience, 2,000 crafting experience, and access to the Temple Trekking minigame. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.